because this salmon, it's absolutely giving what it's supposed to give. Good afternoon, y'all. It is September 14th, it's Tuesday. Sorry, I did not vlog yesterday. Truthfully, I either forgot or I just didn't feel like it. It was our first day of orientation for peds. That's the rotation I'm starting now. I'm currently at the school in um, one of these study rooms in like the cafeteria building and it has a bunch of like, you know, study rooms, ballrooms, meeting rooms. Um, yeah, but I'm in that building on campus. I'm about to go across the street to the hospital because I'm supposed to go to the peds clinic today. So we'll see how that goes with the kids. <laughs> Y'all, I one thing about me, it's like I be saying I don't like kids like that, but I feel like I'ma like the kids and I feel like they're gonna be real funny and I'ma get along with the kids. Because I tend to get along very well with kids for some reason. They like me. So we'll see how that goes today. Um and then I guess I'll just hit y'all up later. I plan on going either going to the gym today or doing some sort of at-home workout of the sort. I guess we'll just see what I'm feeling like after I leave clinic today. I'm supposed to be in there from one to five, um, but hopefully we don't have to be in there till five. Hopefully we get out of clinic a little bit early. It'd be real hard for me to get footage like in the clinic. I'd be wanting to show y'all what we be doing, but you know, HIPAA. If you don't know what HIPAA is, look it up, H-I-P-A-A. -A. We'll put it in the screen somewhere here. But yeah, look it up, y'all. That's why I can't, you know, record stuff in the hospital. If I wanted to, I would have to get patient consent and I don't be feeling like doing all that because I already don't know what I'm doing in there. And now I got to ask you if you mind being on camera so you could be in my vlog too. And I already don't know what I'm doing. Absolutely not, y'all. I can't be doing all that. So yeah, I'll just hit y'all up later. Everybody, I am back at home as you can see I'm currently um, making dinner just making some salmon in my ninja foodie and then making some broccoli fresh broccoli also in my ninja foodie um that's my plans for tonight gonna watch bachelor in paradise because y'all can't stop watching it I can't I'm mad though because the episodes for the beginning of the season have been coming on like every Monday and Tuesday but this week it was just on Tuesday so I got home to turn the TV on yesterday to watch the bachelorette I mean not the bachelorette the bachelor in paradise and it wasn't on and so I was like what in the world is going on? Like, why did I miss something? Like, is there not an episode coming on this week? Y'all, I was upset. Like, I was so mad. Um, but it's okay. It's fine. I'm assuming that for the rest of the season, the episodes are going to be coming on um, every Tuesday instead of every Monday and Tuesday. I guess I just was very confused yesterday. But... It's fine, we're here, we're home. We are making our dinner. The it is 624, the episode comes on, 36 minutes. Y'all, I'll be waiting for Bachelor in Paradise because it's just a mess this season. I don't know if y'all watch that show, but Bachelor in Paradise, Bachelorette. I am waiting for Michelle's season because I was here for Michelle on The Bachelor, on Matt season of The Bachelor. I have my own feelings about that season. It was, y'all, all the Bachelor franchises, Bachelor, Bachelorette, Bachelor in Paradise, I'm here for it all. I'm going to be up to date on every episode because it's just such a good show. 
so yeah that's my plans for the evening i also plan on starting like a painting so i'm gonna try to draw that out at the very least tonight i might start painting this evening just to, i guess it depends on how i'm feeling so that's my plans for the night i'll let y'all watch me cook a little bit and you know i guess i'll just hit y'all up in the morning or actually I'll hit y'all up to let y'all know how my dinner turns out because it's like the fresh salmon that you get from the counter. I want to try to like start buying meats like that, like from the counter. And it's also fresh broccoli. Just going to season it how I usually season my stuff. And the broccoli, I'm going to put some cheese on it because I love me some broccoli and cheese, y'all. Broccoli with cheese on top, melted cheese, it's so good. So that's my plans. I'll hit y'all up later to let y'all know how it tastes. I'll let y'all watch me cook for a little bit Bye. done saying i'm done playing last time was on the outro stuck in the house need to get out more i've been stacking up like i'm fundraising most people in my position get complacent come places with star girls end up on the front pages i'm quiet with it i just ride with it the moment i stop having fun with it i'll be done with it i'm the only one that's putting shots up and like a potluck you need to come with it don't run from it ace town in the summertime i keep it Girls in my times there, word of Paul Wall, not one running. Birthday in my first year, man, I know that place like I come from it. Backstage at warehouse and oh nine like a spun coming. Dad, is anyone coming before I show up there and there's no one there? These days I could probably pack it for like 20 nights if I go in there. Back girl for my main thing, I've been stressed out. Talking to her like back then, they didn't want me, I'm blessed out. Talking to her like this drop and a million copies get pressed out. She tell me take a deep breath, too worried about being the best. It is the moment of truth. I'm gonna do the salmon first. I mean, I'm sure the broccoli will be fine. That's why I'm trying the salmon first. First of all, this salmon is just falling apart, which is exactly how I like it. And it's crispy on the outside, grizzly and burnt, which is also how I like it. Oh my gosh, y'all, I feel, I have a very good feeling about this. Mmm. yeah i have to start buying fresh meat because this salmon like the never frozen con it's absolutely giving what it's supposed to give and it's very juicy on the inside still but very crispy and burnt on the outside, which is how I like it. Wow. I've done something with the salmon. Oh. Oh my. That was delicious. How about the broccoli? Yeah. The broccoli is also giving what it's supposed to give. Wow. Okay. Oh, you guys, dinner was a success. Um, I'm gonna, hold on, let me finish chewing. Okay. All right, y'all. Dinner was, was, blah, 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 blah. dinner was a success. Now I'm about to just finish eating and watch Bachelor in Paradise because it comes on in 10 minutes. So I guess like I'll get a little bit of me drawing so y'all can see, I guess, how I do that is just drawing. Nothing super spectacular about it. But, I mean, other than that, um, that's going to be the rest of my night. So, I'll just holla at y'all tomorrow.
yourself a little return the drawer. Uh, you want to know an estimated fee weight is a good way of helping you because one of the other things they talked about is the importance of equipment and the equipment needed to resuscitate a preemie is different from the equipment needed to resuscitate a term newborn. Um, just as something as simple as your bag and mask, I need a little mask. So make sure I have one. If I'm expecting a one kilo or 15, 15 kilo, 1500 gram or something like that versus a three or four kilo, right? And those are some of the things they discussed in your college course about estimating the size of the mask because they have been estimating how, what size you're going to be using in terms of things such as the tube you're intubating with, et cetera. Okay, so a lot of those things are covered in your pattern as well. So with this particular kid was 37 weeks back day, was admitted to L and membrane rupture, was in labor, and is a foot injury. Um, oh, yesterday I was out and saw one of these. Guess how it spelled was breach. When I was looking at it, I said, this is wrong. <laughs> I left it on there. So therefore my chart says the kid was a foot length breach. That's um, funny. Mother was charged on prophylactic penicillin. The prophylactic penicillin was for what? GBS. Oh, right. Very good. Shout out to Olivia. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Only reason I know that. You who are on OBE, y'all know what I'm talking about. Right? Yeah. So why do you think I tried her? So that she could have a vaginal delivery? It increases the risk of disrupting the feet. The, the oh, you said why not do it? Okay. And changing an elective C section for breach into an emergency C section for fetal distress because you try to turn the kid, disrupted the placenta, mm -hmm. or twisted the cord, or did something. So, but I'm just sitting, pointing this out because not everybody, and I wouldn't have not have been able to be delivered uh, just because of the breach. That um, the way that kids are missing work. But either way, just to point out that we ended up in every place that you will probably will go to. Okay. But in this case, this was a very bad week with the legs literally were up over the feet. Okay. That particular kid. And I'm sitting there and just see if the kid is if they're straight and it's a breach, then you could possibly, you know, pull it out. But in this case there would have been a chance for throwing up. So, but just to let you know, not every place does, the, not every breach requires a section. Okay, hello everyone. Um, I'm just leaving class. I'm in my car pulling out, or trying to pull out of the parking garage. Um, so my plans for today, I was supposed to get my lashes done today, but y'all, I just texted my lash, or my lash tech just texted me and asked if I could reschedule for Friday. So I have to reschedule for Friday. Y'all, I be getting so excited for my lash appointments, y'all. I don't think y'all understand because my lash tag really be just killing the game, honestly. And I feel like if you're not in Nashville and she's, or if you're in Nashville and she's not your lash tag, then what are you doing? I'll put her Instagram somewhere on the screen so y'all can go check her out. But y'all, the lashes are bomb every time and I just be getting so excited. But I have to reschedule for Friday and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I really hope that we can get them done Friday because I'm going out of town on Saturday. And so I really need to get my lashes done Friday at the latest because Saturday morning I'm leaving. So yeah, supposed to get my lashes done today, but that's okay. That'll just give me more time to get all of this like pre-coursework done that I have to do for um, our pediatric advanced life support aka pals course that we have to do tomorrow and friday so i'll just have to i'll have more time to do that and so i guess the rest of my evening will consist of me painting some more i wish i had like a camera camera because i'll be recording my vlogs on my phone y'all because we we broke over here we broke and we can't afford to get us a nice vlogging camera right now that's just for right now we gonna start saving up or we just gonna have to ask for one for Christmas as a Christmas present um, because I'm broke over here and I just feel like the iPhone the iPhone camera quality is good enough. It's good enough to get the job done for right now. So we just gonna keep using that. And like, I'll be running out of space on my phone because I've had this phone for, dang, 
I thought I had this phone for two years, but I only had this phone for like a year and a half. I'm supposed to be eligible for an upgrade in January of 2022. And so just waiting for my upgrade, but I be running out of storage on my phone trying to record these videos for y'all but that's cool because i got google photos and i just add everything to my google photos and just delete it off my phone so i can keep recording videos but still be able to save them so that's what i be doing um but yeah i'm just recording I, and i say all that to say i wish i could record like a time lapse of me painting and like you can record time lapses on your phone but like it takes a long time to do a painting and you have to record for a long time to do a time lapse. And so I don't have enough storage on my phone to record a time lapse of the entire painting process. So y'all just gonna get a little bit, just bits and pieces of the process at the moment. Um, but yeah, so for the rest of the night, I'm going to go home, do all that pre-coursework stuff. I guess I'll just paint some more. Because this is kind of like an orientation-ish week, I ain't really too pressed on trying to study nothing this week. Like, I'm still shook from OB, to be quite honest with y'all. So, I'm holding off on the studying, at least until next week. Maybe the week after that, to be quite honest with you. But next week is when I go to UAB, so I really got to be on my stuff when I go to UAB. So I'll start studying next week. But this week, uh-uh. No, ma'am. Absolutely not. I'm not doing all that studying. I'm going to chill. I'm going to take the all the time that I have to relax because, you know, when the rest of the rotation gets underway, I'm not going to have any time to be doing anything besides school. So I'm taking all the time that I can get this week. But yeah, I don't have nothing very interesting to tell y'all for right now anyway. I guess I'll just hit y'all up for dinner tonight. I'm gonna just make the salmon again. I gotta go to the grocery store and get some more broccoli because I made all my broccoli last night. I gotta go get some more broccoli. And tonight, I'm gonna just remake that salmon and that broccoli because y'all, I'm gonna have to just start buying salmon fresh from the counter because I don't like the way this camera. Like, can we turn it a little bit more this way? Okay, I guess that's a little bit of but y'all, I, that fresh salmon, it just hit. It was hitting differently than the frozen salmon, like fillets that I usually just get from the freezer section. I'm gonna have to start buying meat from the counter because, oh my goodness, it was so good, y'all. Like, and I made it in my air fryer and it just was nice and crispy on the outside, but it was still nice and juicy and just falling apart on the inside. And that's how I like my salmon. So I was like, bro, I'm gonna just have to start getting fresh salmon from the counter. And that's just gonna have to be how it is. But yeah, that's what I'm making, remaking for dinner tonight again. So I guess I'll just hit y'all up later when I'm doing something more interesting. So then, bye. Hello, everybody. Um, I'm back at home. It's like 8.24 p.m. So I did not hit you guys up when I got back home because um, I immediately started painting and I totally forgot about it. Until now, when I'm getting on the computer to do this pre-course work for the PALS things that we have tomorrow and Friday. Also, I'm eating some Mexican street corn from Chili's. Um, but yeah, I just was painting and now I'm about to do this stuff. Um, I am extremely tired. So honestly, after I do this stuff, I'll probably just get in the bed. Um, my paints, my painting needs to dry a little bit anyway before I can do any, <laughs> excuse me, sorry y'all. But my painting needs to dry anyway before I can effectively do any more work like I needed to dry down a little bit but it's oil paint so it's not going to dry completely but that's fine as long as it dries partially I feel like I that will be fine so it's perfect time for me to take a break it's just that once I start painting I just be getting stuck on it and then I can't stop and so I had to force myself to stop just now and then after I do this stuff with pals I'm going to sleep because y'all I'm tired. I don't know why I'm tired. I don't know why I'm so tired and it's only like almost 8 30. So I guess that's just the old lady in me. But I don't really care that much. I'm tired, so I'm gonna get into bed. Um but yeah, I'll just 
hit y'all up tomorrow when something interesting more happens. Until then, good night. <laughs> 10 seconds, all right. All right, so we got a 12 year old at a uh, basketball team. He, uh, he has a big pulse. Big pulse. Right in, start compressions. All right, got compressions going. What am I doing? Am I timing? Time. Yeah. Okay. Time. It's supposed to be two minutes, right? I'm supposed to time it for two minutes. You got a big So if you got someone doing compressions, and you always want to have someone at air. But like the four hour way before the DVD. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let's check. Uh, I forgot how to put this in there, but we just gonna go. Okay, you're at one minute. Yeah, just take that out. You, you show me that you recognize. Oh, Lord. Just do BBM on the air. I'm wondering. Somebody go get the AED. That's Finette. The, we have an imaginary AED. It it's right there. What's the first thing? Turn it on. Turn it on. We have to turn it on. I've started the time over. Wait, wait, wait. Do it quick. Yeah, let's check that pulse. Pulse is still weak. Okay, wonderful. I mean, not wonderful, but <laughs> like you understand. Absolutely. How often do we supposed to check the pulse? I think it's two Okay. Let's check the pulse. All right. All right, pulse still weak, everyone. We need to keep going. Continue compression. Right. IO access. And we need to first push 0.1 milligrams per. I mean, is that the right units? Point zero point, one point, oh, zero one, one, got it. Kilogram. Per kilogram. Point zero one pushed. Per kilogram. We are rolling. I never get it. Yeah, I think this is good. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. We don't have a cardiac monitor. All right, I think the baby is, the pulse is getting stronger. Wait, let me check it first. Let me check the pulse after you do the compressions. Yeah. All right, it's getting stronger. Ooh. Wonderful. On our mannequin baby. Okay, switch. Oh, he done turned the baby on. He done pressed the brain. The light's not supposed to be on. Jesus. What have you done? Oh, oh. Now we done saved the baby. Now we got to. Okay, yay. All right, let's make sure the scene is safe. We got the all-star. We got the all-star crew. Okay. We check the airway. Check the airway. Do we need to do that with No, no, no. Okay, timer So, so just, just go ahead and start compressions. We got Fernet on the uh, 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 on the breaths. Oh. Yeah. yeah, 15. 15. Oh, it's 15? 15. Uh -huh. Oh, is that, is that for older kids too? Or is it I believe so. It's for the kids, kids and babies with two, with two. Yeah. <laughs> good y'all as you can see this is my room it is clearly a mess um i am just in the process of trying to fold clothes and pack and wash clothes and clean so i guess i'll just let y'all see a little bit of that so today or i guess i'm looking at my wrist like i don't wash on so tonight i guess it's just a cleaning slash packing night i also have to take my wig off wash my hair, reapply it. So lots of things to do this evening. We'll see if we can get them all done. Go blah. Go blah.
So y'all, okay, so I got this purse from Ross a while ago and I have yet to carry it, but y'all look how it opens. Okay, so you see this. Now look, that clicks down and you just open it like that. I've never seen a purse open like that. Like I've seen like, you know, similar things where it'd be like, you know, you twist it and then it pops out, but I've never seen one like that looks like this. And then it's like, you know, still cute when it's closed, if I can close it. Yeah, but it's like, how cute is that? book is I just okay hold on so y'all I just got done with an OB clerkship and this is the OB clerkship book I don't know if y'all can see how thick it is you know nice and slim for an eight-week rotation this is the Peds clerkship book also an eight week rotation. What in the heck? Y'all, literally like, this book is like less than half of this size. The OB book is less than half of the beads book size. Lord Jesus. Okay, y'all, so I just got done um, cleaning my living room and I had already cleaned my kitchen before I got on the camera. Now I'm about to take this wig off. As y'all can see, it's looking a little crusty and dusty. You know, the corners coming up a little bit. Ooh, they look bad. But yeah, so that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to take this thing off, wash my hair and Oh, sounds like my clothes just stopped in the dryer. Wonderful. So I'm about to take this wig off and wash my hair, reapply it, all that jazz. I'll try to get, um, and then take a shower and all that stuff. Hey, y'all. So it's Saturday. I am in the car. As you can see, I got a bunch of stuff in the back. And because that is, I, that is because I am on my way to Birmingham for, sorry, for um, the first two weeks of my peds rotation. I'm at Chick-fil-A right now. Hold on, y'all, I'm about to get my food. 
to throw away here guys um i don't want to be this person to pour things out like this but it's fine everyone will be okay i just had to pour that out real fast because it's too much trash in this car all right guys um so yeah so i'm headed to uab for the first like clinical two weeks of my peds rotation and um are you guys gonna leave a space for me to get out okay i clearly have road rage everyone but um yeah so i am headed to birmingham for the first two weeks of my uh rotation at my peace rotation at uab i'm pretty excited it's it's just supposed to be impatient um but i guess i'll just see about all that when i get there i'm going to check into the apartment that our school has us in while we're there once I get to Birmingham um, and my brother lives there, so he's gonna come and help me like move my stuff into the apartment. Um, I have a lot of stuff for only for it to only be two weeks, but that's, I am an overpacker and I'm okay with that. I know that about myself. I am an overpacker and you know, I just feel like it's better to be safe than sorry because it's like, you know, you never know what you're gonna end up doing. And then it's like, I'm essentially from there. So, you know, I might meet up with some people and wanna go out and I have to have the appropriate fits in order to go out. And so that's why I have so much stuff. I also plan on like wearing my wig while I'm down there. So I have a bunch of hair stuff. I got my toiletries. Um, I'm excited for the peds rotation excited to see what the kids are gonna be like you know cuz I you know every other specialty you're working with adults and people who for the most part can properly communicate um, and dealing with kids is just something that is completely different and so I'm just very interested to see how I am able to interact with the kids I feel like I'll be fine just because like you know I feel like the kids like me the kids usually like me so Hopefully I'll be okay. Um, about to start eating. It's raining here. It's raining in Birmingham, so I'm sure it'll be raining the whole way down there. Y'all can hear my windshield wipers because they're so loud. Um, let's turn that off right now. <laughs> but yeah, I'm about to get on the road, guys. Um, I guess I'll just hit you guys up when I get there. Um, show y'all what the apartment looks like. Introduce y'all to my brother, maybe. I don't know, we gonna see. I forgot to vlog in the Target because that's where we just left to get some groceries. Here with my brother and his girlfriend. This is Mike. This is Lindsay. I'm in Birmingham now. So I'll hit y'all up when I get back to the apartment. No. This is going to be the conversation. Okay. We got the chicken good. This Come is up. Gus's in no, Birmingham. No sponsor. This chicken good. Okay. The chicken is busting, guys. Two piece white mac and cheese fries. I personally didn't like the mac and cheese, but I got the coleslaw and it was good. I'm gonna try the fries next time. Did not know they had pie. I have to try that because I love me a good pie. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, I might. I'm not going to say that I have skills because I probably don't. Because, baby, I ain't gonna. My skills are probably trash. You should remember class. Yeah. You're allowed to play. No, but ball one. I'm telling you, I haven't played since ball one. That was your eighth grade, so that means you were about 14. I was 13. 13. So, 10, 11, 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, 13. 12, Every every time I think about it, I just be like, oh my gosh. 2015, like, I, I don't know why I still think that 2015 was, like, recent. Like, no. That was six years ago. That's what I'm saying. Like, even, no, but even, like, 2011, 2012, like, that's over a decade ago. Kids born in 2000. 13 are turning 10 this year. Ew. How gross is that? Not 13, 2011, sorry. I was about to say, hold on. 2011. But that's still crazy to me. Oh, my first moment like that was probably in 2012 or 13. I heard mom at the doctor, I was a doctor. About 10 Dr. Vincent. Mm. Late chicken. Mm. What's the state of So put it in the like 06. Oh, oh back. Because there was a kid on the table and we were talking about books or whatever. I told her about the hot dog by Richard something. Mm. And I still was like, yeah, it was about Ebola. It's crazy. They went and said there was Ebola outbreak shortly after it came out. Or that I started reading it. And she didn't, she went alive for that. Oh. I was like, you don't know? Oh, that's crazy though. Because I remember the Ebola outbreak. Mm -hmm. No. You or know, even like swine flu, bro. You know how in 2008, I was big on diabetes, right? Uh-huh. I remember that. that. Yeah. Yes. 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 Can I have... Um, go ahead. You go first. Okay. Do you have a military to see? Okay. Can I get a to-go box? When I was in fourth grade, you know, they came out with the original movie there, Roger Rules in the last straw. It's three books. Guess what number book they're on right now? They still making them? Well, this one I'm put there. 20 something? Mm -hmm. I'm like 15. With spin offs. And I've read Friend got a book chain <gasps> with two books, two, three books. I can't believe they're still making them. Plus, plus the do it yourself books that are out. I remember well, Cabin Fever. That's the last one I remember. Cabin Fever, that's the fourth one. I don't think I ever read. I, when I was in middle school, I was really big on Twilight and The Hunger Games. Because when I was in middle school was when Twilight had just dropped. Because that was too, I was in sixth grade in 2008. Twilight had bubble middle school. And uh, middle I, in a chokehold. In a chokehold. There, no there was no reason. No, there was no reason that, that Twilight had us in the chokehold that it did. Do you know, do you know I read those books years before the movies came out. So when they said they were coming out with the movie, and because Mike, that was that one book I had read. It was in book club, because remember I was in that book club. With Kendrick? Yes. And that was the book that I read. I read the first book in two days. It had Jenny. And not me. I'm not included in this. I read it in two days, and I, I read the second book twice. Because when by the time I got to the third book, it had been a couple of years before, since I had read the second one. So I was like, let me just reread the second one and refresh my memory. Reread the whole book, and then read the third one. Wonderful. Um, thank you. Okay. Yeah, Maze Runner was absolutely slipped on. Because those Maze Runner books were so good. And it had y'all in the chokehold. So what that dude named Theo James? Yeah, yeah. Y'all was. That, that wasn't the same that one. Same that's not the same man. No, that, that wasn't the same man. The same man. Theo James, he? I know he played four in Divergent. I know for a fact he, he played, played Thomas in Maze Runner. I don't, I don't, I don't know. know. Like, Wait, I Thomas is the main character? character. Oh yeah, Thomas is the main character. He didn't play the main character. Okay, I was about to say that that ain't the same person. He, he had a hold on y'all, Taylor Lautner. Absolutely, Taylor Lautner had me in an absolute chokehold. I was Team Jacob. I was like, forget about Edward. I was already big on the team. Good move. <laughs>
As much no, as facts. I, as much as I wanted to understand the hype, I couldn't do it. But, bro, Twilight had us in a chokehold, bro. Like, for no reason. No, and the books, the no, books were uh, nearly, like, especially Eclipse and Breaking Dawn. Breaking Dawn was almost a thousand pages. I read every single page. Every word. I never read a single page of Hunger Games. Oh, I, I read the Hunger Games. Now, I read the I read the first book of the Hunger Games. That was one I read in two days as well. That Hunger Games book, the first one, mm -hmm. I mean, it was a fantastic book. The second one was good. The third one fell off. I never, I think I started reading the second one and I didn't finish and I never even picked up the third one. Never. You couldn't force me to watch the third movie. No, I don't know what the third movie is. But the first movie, oh, I'll go back to watch that again right now. I was, I, I see, I and, and Twilight too. Hello everyone, um, I am back at the apartment um, for, you know, my peds rotation, was running around with my brother and his girlfriend, shout out to them for helping me get myself together because y'all, like the apartment was so dirty when we got here, the lighting is bad, let me go in the bathroom and see, okay yeah this is better. But yeah, the apartment was so dirty when I got here, y'all. And so we had to clean the whole apartment, essentially. I'm still not done cleaning. I have to, I'm about to clean the bathroom right now. And then I have to finish sweeping and like, you know, and I'm an unpacker, so I got to unpack my stuff. Um, but yeah, still lots of things to do tonight. Um, it's Saturday, so... I think this is going to conclude this vlog and I'll start back recording tomorrow for the next vlog. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching me talk about nothing important. I know I'll be wondering like, do people really be caring what I be talking about? Probably not, but like, I don't care that much. I'ma still talk. So <laughs> thank you guys for listening to me. If you're still watching, I appreciate you so, 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 so much. And I'll see y'all in the next vlog. Bye.